Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of April 5th. Uh, we are going to take a look at your current general energies in this first row. Uh, in your second row, we're going to look at anything unexpected that's coming in for you. And in your last row, we're going to look at any advice from your guides. Uh, also, at the end, I'm going to pull three cards and I will give you time to pause the video and to think of a question. And I will be answering that question with the three cards. So Aquarius, let's see what we have going on for you here. Aquarius, uh, Aquarius, let's see. You start off here in your current general energies with this embracing card here. Mm, I feel like you are learning to embrace uncertainty with the Net of Wands. And I don't think this is specific is what I would say to you. I feel like what you're learning to embrace is the fact that you can't know all the answers, the fact that you can't know exactly what's going to happen in the future in a situation as well. So for some of you, I feel like you're just embracing the kind of spontaneous energy in life. Yeah, you have this stillness card as well. A very like relaxed and still energy in all the readings that I've done for this week. So it seems to be a major focus for everyone. You have the Net of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles here. So for a lot of you, I feel that you have, it's almost like you've taken some time to gather your resources with the Nine of Pentacles here. So for some of you, I feel you've kind of taken a break from things in life. I'm getting like a break energy for you here in this first row. So it's like maybe you took a break from love. Maybe you took a break from work or something along those lines. And it was to gather your resources, to gather your energy. I feel like it's so you can make sure that you live like a quality life. Three of Pentacles is a card of like teamwork and collaboration, building something of quality as well. But to me, I feel this is more a big picture card for you. I feel like it's saying that you have been very focused on creating a quality life in, your, in whatever that means to you, that could be a relationship, that could mean that a certain amount of money, it could mean anything, but you've been very focused on this, I feel. The Net of Wands is just kind of the, 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 you know, the monkey wrench here. I feel like the Net of Wands is the thing that is kind of making things a little bit more, I wouldn't say challenging, but I feel this is the energy that you've been learning to work with here. I don't even think this is a person, if I'm being honest with you. I feel like this is an energy that you've been working with, and the energy is uncertainty, not being able to know the future, basically, right? So for some of you, thinking back, maybe you've had a lot of problems thinking about the future. It's like maybe you get into a relationship and you start worrying about the future and you start worrying like, am I gonna be with this person? Are they gonna leave me? Am I, am I gonna stay with this person? It's like all these questions are popping up into my head. Same thing with work as well. It's like you could be getting a job and you immediately start worrying about the future. But it's almost like you're learning to embrace that energy of uncertainty and you're learning to work with it. Knight of Pentacles right here. Uh, let's clarify this. A very interesting reading, I would say to you here, Aquarius. Six of Wands. Yeah, this is gonna lead to more success for you here. Aquarius, Ten of Pentacles, everything you want. You're going from the Nine to the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is everything you want in your life. It is the tree of life. It can represent a happy home, happy family, kind of like the Ten of Cups, but it can also represent just abundance, um, success, security, uh, inheritance, leaving a legacy, building a legacy in your life. And you have the Page of Cups. Yeah, you, some of you could be looking for a quality relationship to work on here. You have this water sign here. For some of you, it's a water sign. It could also be a Sagittarius I'm getting here as well. So some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Some of you, obviously, this is like a new person. So I don't think that it's necessarily someone you know. Uh, for some of you, maybe. And, you know, take it how it resonates. But I do feel like this could be love, something very solid coming in for you with the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is everything you desire to have in your life. And it's also a card of success as well. So I do feel there's a lot of like success and happiness coming in, in this row. For others, it's just an offer uh, for something that will be successful, like a you know job or business or something like that. Pretty simple first row. Uh, next in the area of the unexpected, you have the Bless card. I feel like there are unexpected blessings coming in for you here, Aquarius. For a lot of you, this could be to like work on something that you've wanted to work on for a long time, like a business idea or a job, especially with this Knight of Pentacles. I almost feel like second chance vibes here. So it could be something where you feel like you lost out on the opportunity to do it. So if you've like thought of a business 
that you wanted to run in the past, this could be like your second chance. There are definitely blessings coming in for you here. You are gonna be very happy. <laughs> you have this happy, happy card as well here, um, Aquarius. So uh, that definitely looks really nice to me. You have the Temperance card, Knight of Pentacles, and Eight of Cups here. For like a very small percentage of you here, I do feel this could be a person coming back from the past. Again, I don't really do X back readings unless it shows up. And you do have the Judgment card here, which is one of the only cards in the deck that I consider an X coming back. Um, so if you want your ex, now let me make this very clear, Aquarius, if you want your ex back, or if you're thinking about an ex, I do feel this could be someone coming back. If you don't, then don't take them back, please, by all means, don't. But for some of you, I feel this is the case, right? With the judgment card. There was a heartbreak here. I feel, again, if this is someone coming back, it was a positive relationship in the first place, I feel. It was something that wasn't negative. There just needed to be some sort of change. You have the Temperance card, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups here. It's like someone chose to walk away, I feel, from a relationship because things weren't, it's like, I feel there were too many unknowns, like I have been talking about with this Knight of Wands. I also feel this boils down to resources. So if someone walked away from a relationship, it had to do with resources, like someone didn't have enough money or, you know, there, some, it's like things couldn't work out due to resources, I feel, or it's like resources got in the way of this situation. So if you're, if you are getting back together with a person, which is possible in this reading, I feel, then it's like things are, what's unexpected is that you could be getting the resources or your person is getting the resources to make this happen. For those of you who are not looking for someone from the past, I feel what's unexpected here is that you're making a change in work or business. Eight of Cups is walking away from something that once served you. You could be making like a very rapid change, I feel, in your work or your business life. And by rapid, it's not gonna happen this week. <laughs> so I feel this is one of those things where some of you by the end of the year could quite surprisingly be doing something totally different. I get that story for a lot of you Aquarius people. It's like this right here is kind of saying to me that you are going to be doing something very different than what you have been doing. So if, don't, I would not be surprised if some of you like make a change in your career or your business, or if you make a change in some other area of your life with this energy. Let's see where this is going. It's gonna make you very happy, whatever it is. I feel like it's also uh, going to be very fulfilling as well here, Aquarius. So uh, let's see. Page of Pentacles, what do you know? New job, like I said. For some of you, I definitely get this feeling where if you have a job, you, the surprising thing is is that by the end of the year you're going to maybe leave so i know this is a weekly reading but you know to me tarot is truly timeless there is no time and i feel this is something that is going to take a little bit of time but i just feel like it's surprising to you even you know because it's like maybe you thought you were going to be doing something uh, that was going to last for a long time i feel this is like a, i'm getting chills just thinking about this because i feel there could be a very exciting opportunity that opens up for you here and it's going to be something that's going to allow you to do something that is like your true inner calling with this uh, judgment card this is turning out to be a very powerful reading yeah you have the four of pentacles some of you are in a position that I think you thought you were gonna be in for a very long period of time. You're waking up to something here, Aquarius, in this reading. You're waking up to like your true purpose in life. For some of you, this involves love. I feel like you could be waking up to a person who, like, who is your true love here with the King of Cups down here. Uh, but for others, I feel like what you're waking up to is your purpose. And this could be surprising, yeah, temperance as well. Uh, temperance is like just talking about time and it's also talking about a change here. But I do feel for some of you, there could be a change. Again, you could be doing something right now in work or business, but it's like by the end of the year, I feel like you're gonna be doing something completely different. And I feel like this is very unexpected, but it's like you're waking up to this. So mm, I like where this is going, Aquarius. Uh, next, in the area of your, any messages from your guides, you have the Flamingo Spirit. This card says embrace the in-between. So again, I feel like you're in this in-between world where you're about to be making some changes. You're about to be making, um, maybe you're about to do something new or you're about to make a change in like what you're working on. And I feel like you're in this in-between world. Sorry, they're vacuuming the hallway. <laughs> they're Aquarius. That's what that noise was, if you were wondering. But I feel like you're about to like make a change with this energy. You're about to kind of transition at this time. I also feel for some of you that you're kind of, you've learned a lot since maybe like the summertime, last summer. So, you know, basically since you know june let's say and now june coming up i feel like within that year within the last year but i'm talking about from june to this coming june you are going to realize that you were kind of in this purgatory 
I feel like you are going to realize that you are in this space where it's almost like you were kind of like waiting to be let in. You know, I feel like you are waiting to uh, for the doors to something to open. So what were you waiting for? Well, you have the judgment card, the three of swords and the king of cups. For some of you, it's like you were stuck in this uncertain time with the knight of wands. And now it's like you're being woken up, I feel, with the judgment card. For some of you, again, I do feel this is a person from the past. And it doesn't matter if you walked away or if they walked away in this situation. It's almost like you're waking up to this person as being, you know, your person, as being the person that you want to be with. And again, if you don't want your ex back, no need to leave a comment, right? This message is not for you, um, is what I would say, Aquarius. And if it's not, and this, and by the way, this could just be new love. So if you don't want your ex back, this could just be a new person. Take it how it resonates right but for some of you I feel like this is a new person I mean I feel like this is a person that you've already been with and it's like they're returning to your life with the judgment card here I feel like you were both heartbroken by the situation and I also feel like this person that you're dealing with it's like they're very stable so I feel like just a very stable person again obviously if you're dealing with a person who's not stable this message is not for you and there's a new stable person coming in for you for others I feel that you're waking up to something that is your true inner calling that is your true purpose with that judgment energy the judgment, it, judgment is like a wake-up call, but it's like you're waking up to something that's going to, look at, you have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck here as well, Aquarius. It's like you're waking up to something that is your destiny. You're waking up to something that is your, you know, that's going to make your life uh, very nice, I feel like saying. You have the Ace of Cups, definitely love for a lot of you, like I said already. Knight of Pentacles, yeah, I feel like this person's always been, again, if this is someone from the past, this person's always been a stable figure in your life. I feel like they are just like kind of on a path and they're working towards it. So if you're wondering who this person is, it could be a water sign, could also be an earth sign as well, I feel. It could be any sign. This is just a general reading, Aquarius. But I feel like this person, it's like they've just been on a path and they've never gotten off that path, even when you when you know, the, the breakup happened, happened, for example. It's like they've always just been kind of like going in one direction. And I feel like that's something uh, that could be standing out to you here. Yeah, you have the high priestess as well. Trust your intuition. You have a choice, right? High priestess does not say, we have free will, right? <laughs> we, we don't have to take anyone back, as I always say, Aquarius. Although for some of you, I do feel this is an X coming back reading. Um, for others, I feel this is saying that something has a lot of potential, right? And the Knight of Pentacles is basically just saying, you're going to have to put the work in. The High Priestess can represent something entering into our awareness. The King of Cups says the world is crazy. It says that's because he's sitting in choppy waters and the waters around him are choppy, but he's perfectly fine. The King of Cups can be a clue that says something is entering into your awareness, like an idea that is your true purpose, but you're going to have to execute on this idea regardless of what's going on in the world. That's what the King of Cups represents. It says there are a million excuses not to do something, but this is saying like if you take action, you will be successful. The High Priestess says the sky is the limit. And the High Priestess says you could be ridiculously successful at this time, but you're going to have to take action on something here, Aquarius. Uh, this is a really nice reading. I uh, definitely like where it's going. I do feel, again, if you want new love, there's definitely new love coming in here. But for some of you, it could be someone from the past. It's like true love with the Ace of Cups. I also feel like your guides want you to know, like one foot in front of the other at this time with the Knight of Pentacles. That will be the most helpful. But Aquarius, I'm going to pull three cards now and feel free to pause this video and think about a question if you need to. But uh, this is going to be like a personal-ish reading. Uh, you have the Four of Cups here, the Five of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. Good news coming in for you after a period of regrets. So I feel there's like good news coming in for you here. I feel I do feel like some of you need to turn around and be and see what you do have with the Five of Cups. But I do feel that for some of you, someone thought the grass was greener on the other side. They walked away and now they're coming back with an apology, <laughs> just like everything that's right here. Or they're coming back in with uh, communication with that Page of Pentacles. Uh, for others, I mean, again, this could be you ignoring the past, still being sad about it, but this is saying like there's new opportunity for you as well, probably like in new love or in getting a new relationship in general is what I would say here. Overall, this is a really good reading. I feel like you're waking up. It's like you're being woken up to your true purpose, your true inner calling, whatever you want to call it. It's going to lead to a lot of happiness, Aquarius. So no need to drag this reading out, really. Pretty simple, but love it. So thank you for being here, Aquarius. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising. 
for a full picture of what's going on for you this week. Uh, also, feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate the support. But thank you, Aquarius, and enjoy your week.